Right, I've been asked to make a video on how to put custom startup tones on the BL Heli ESCs. Now, with this little Cinewhoop that I've got, it doesn't actually have BL Heli 32 firmware on it. Um, natively, BL Heli S firmware doesn't support startup tones, but there is custom firmware out that you can get that will actually give you the ability to put startup tones on it. So we will go through both of them and show you how to do it. One thing I would strongly advise doing before you start doing any of this is to take your damn props off, especially on these open bladed drones. On the center whoops, it doesn't really matter because obviously it's got the, the prop guards which will protect you if the uh, motor starts spinning up. Strongly important you take the props off of this just so, just in case the motor spin up or anything like that. Right, so before we start anything, I would strongly advise going in to beta flight when your drone is plugged in and going to the video transmitter tab um, and um, I think you might have to plug this in for this actually for the smart audio to pop up let's have a look here yeah there it is so it, it, it device is ready yes and bring this down to 25 milliwatt 25 milliwatt should be fine I mean it's just so obviously your video transmitter doesn't overheat so save that, unplug the drone for now, uh, disconnect, right, okay. So drone is still plugged into the computer. So what you wanna do first is go and download BL Heli uh, Configurator. I'll put this um, link in the uh, description and just download whatever one um, corresponds to the computer you're using. I'm using Windows 64, so I downloaded that one. If you just click on it, it should just pop up. Uh, click save or whatever and then save it mine's on the desktop uh, you need, will need to extract it because it will be a zip file so extract it and then in here BL Heli 32 sweet right uh, and my drone is on com 6 yours might be different but if I unplug this if I unplug the drone see com 6 disappears when I plug the drone back in com 6 should show back up so click connect and then you are going to need to plug a battery in for this because you need to power the ESCs for the flight controller to read it. So plug it in. You shouldn't get the next two tones. That means that the flight controller's taken over the ESC and obviously it's not initializing. That is a good sign that it's working. So click the read setup button um, and you should have all four of these come up. If it, I mean, even though it says input protocol unknown, that's fine. It doesn't seem to make any issues. Uh, if it starts saying that it doesn't know what type of uh, ESC it is, then that is a problem uh, and you're going to need to figure out why it's doing that. Now, in most cases, it's probably because you're running a BL Heli S, the normal, the uh, previous version. I will show you how to get music on that a little bit later in the video. So that's all fine. Right. So music editor now and in here. This is where you put the notes and it will read them when you run, when you plug in the ESC. Now, the best place I found for uh, BL Heli 32 music is on this guy's YouTube page, uh, Rocks Wolf. He seems to make the best BL Heli music and he's got quite a lot of options on here for music. I'll put his uh, YouTube channel in the, in the description as well. Now the one I normally have on my drones is the Imperial March one. So now if you play the video it will show you what it sounds like. So you can hear it first before you actually copy it now in the description of the video the this is the stuff that you uh, need to copy all these notes here let's paste these notes you also need to copy the gen length and the interval length if there is one into the BL Heli 32 uh, firmware as well so for ESC1 so copy all these notes paste it in here make sure this mute this uh, tick box is selected and it's Gen length 10, interval 0, so that's all good. ESC2, copy all these notes. Don't copy anything else, otherwise it won't be able to read it. Um, I'm not entirely sure what happens if you do. I'm not sure if it just skips it or what, but just copy the notes over. Gen length 10, interval 0, ESC3, copy. Music on, gen length 10, interval 0, ESC4. Gen length 10, interval zero. Right, and then once that's all done, you don't need to do anything else. Just make sure that all these are, got gen length 10 on them, interval zero, music on. Click apply. Yes. 
and it should write to all the ESCs and it will uh, should come up right okay on all four. So let's just click, click disconnect. And there we go. Right, so the next one we are going to uh, go through is how to get um, startup tones on BL Heli S ESCs. Now it's a little bit different than BL Heli 32. It, it isn't actually supported natively. You have to actually um, flash specific hex files to the ESCs which have the startup tones included. So go ahead and download BL Heli. I'll include this link in the description and obviously download the corresponding one to whatever one you use and then extract it. Um, the next thing you want to do is go over here to this link and this is the BL Heli S Startup Tones hex files. It will tell you which different Startup Tones are included in it. There's a few of the most common ones included. So go ahead and download the uh, zip file and extract it. I have already done this on the desktop here. So let's go ahead and plug the drone in. Again, I would advise going into Betaflight and bring that down to 25 milliwatts and click save. Right, open BL Heli configurator. Right, there it is, COM8, click connect. Right, so plug the battery in, no tones, that's good. Read setup. Right, there it all is. So my advice would be take a picture of this first, just, just so you've got all the, the settings saved. Right, we'll move that out of the way for a second. It's just so if anything goes wrong, you can reflash the existing firmware and you'll obviously be able to just copy over the settings that are already on your ESCs. I mean, you shouldn't have a problem. So you just need to find out which firmware hex file is on this ESC already. Uh, it's uh, GH30. Ah, here we go, flash all. Right, so flash all, select file manually, desktop, where are they, hex files and then just find the one that corresponds to your ESC. GH30, there it is. Open, flash in. Right, so it's done all of that now. Fortunately enough, it hasn't changed any of my settings on here, so this should be the same for you. And so it, sh it hasn't actually changed any of my settings. It saved them from the original firmware that I had on there, so which is good. So what you want to do now is go back into here and choose which startup tones you actually want to use. I'm going to try, because I've got Imperial March on my other 32-bit ESCs, I'm going to try Imperial March startup tone. So the beep strength is the thing you need to change to get the different startup tones so beep strength is, needs to be 145 let's go back in here and move this up to 145 right like that right setup and you should see at the top here it's writing reading setup done right okay now let's disconnect and find out if this worked Right, okay, so that's all done. Um, it also, if you couldn't hear, it actually beeps to let you know what kind of signal it's using as well. So it beeps five times for me to let me know that um, it's using D-Shot. It's also got, I would read through this and just see what else, other features uh, these this BL Heli special firmware has as well. Because there are some other cool features um, included in this uh, firmware that you might make use of. Right guys, uh, that will do it for now. The next video coming up is probably going to be about the Hero 10 that I am going to receive in the mail very shortly. So stick around for that. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel for more content. And if you've got any suggestions for any, any videos that you want to see in the future, please let me know. Other than that, I will see you guys later.